Good morning, everybody. Thanks for joining us here at Mystic Fitness. We are coming from Victory Field in Framingham. I have a nice crew behind me this morning. Happy Labor Day to all, and let's get started. I'm gonna have you on your feet this morning to begin in mountain pose at the top of your mat. So you can follow me there. And as you begin to find your mountain pose, maybe start with feet hips width distance apart so that you're feeling nice and grounded through the feet. And we'll begin by lifting and separating all 10 of your toes. So really lift, feel the arches lift up off of the mat. And then settle the toes down, maybe even find a little grip to the mat and then carry that energy all the way up the legs. So begin to fire up through the legs, start to press out through those outer edges of the feet, carry that energy all the way up through the abdominals and then carrying that all the way up through the chest. Amy, it doesn't look like the Instagram one is moving and I'm not sure. Okay. <laughs> all right. Um, and then as you carry that energy in all the way up through the belly, Take your shoulders up with an inhale, and then exhale, roll the shoulders down and back. Feel that little bit of tug between the shoulder blades. Let's try that again, inhale, lift the shoulders up. Exhale, carry those shoulders back down. Let's try that one more time, big breath in and out. Now allow your hands to come down by your sides, palms face forward, fingertips reach towards the, towards the floor, towards the mat. And then go ahead and lift your chin, lift your gaze, and find that last bit of lengthening. Make yourself a little bit taller through the crown of the head. And take a nice deep breath in. And sigh it out. Again, deep breath in. And sigh it out. And just try to fully bring yourself onto your mat. Let everything else go. And then find something in front of you to lock your eyes on, your drishti. You're going to come back to this place whenever you're settled into a posture and you're breathing into that posture. You're going to come into this same eye lock, finding that drishti in front of you that you'll always come back to. So find that now. And then with your next breath in, sweep your hands above your head. Hands in prayer come to heart center. And we'll gently close our eyes here. Standing nice and tall and proud, we'll set an intention for our practice here together this morning. And gently allow those eyes to float open. Take a nice deep breath in, sweep up. And then bow forward, come all the way down. Keep the knees nice and soft. And then as you inhale, find your halfway lift and pause. So maybe hands come to shins, create that length, tailbone points back, crown of the head reaches forward. And then as you exhale, bow forward, soften the knees. Inhale, come all the way up and reach, sweep to the sky. Exhale and soften, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale and bow. One more time, big breath in, sweep it high. Exhale and bow forward. Inhale, find your halfway lift. Exhale and bow. Now this time, inhale, come all the way up, nice and high and rise. Grab your left wrist with your right hand. Bring your feet together. Big toes touch, heels slightly separated. And then again, get nice and long. Really reach, big breath in. And as you exhale, come on over to the right. Stretch, feel that beautiful side stretch through the whole left side of the body. Maybe that right arm comes down. So you're reaching through both hands now. Big breath in and exhale. Let's swap it out, come back through your center, left hand on that right wrist, pick it up, get nice and tall and long. In breath and exhale, come on over to the other side. Maybe again, release that left arm down, reaching through both hands, big breath in and exhale. Now coming back through your center, find that extended mountain pose. Palms face in towards one another, thumbs point straight back behind you. We're gonna take a very gentle standing back bend. So as you inhale, reach long, 
as you exhale, reach towards the back. Keeping those hips right above your knees if you can, press them forward, big breath in. Exhale and reach back. And then as you inhale, stand up nice and tall. As you exhale, bow forward, come all the way down. Inhale, halfway left. Exhale, hands to the floor. Separate your feet and ragdoll pose. So keep those knees nice and soft and bent, wrapping the arms around your head, head nice and heavy. And just check in, make sure that you're actually folding from the hip crease. So maybe even bring your thumbs into the hip crease on both sides. And then make sure that's where that fold is happening. Sometimes we tend to just put a lot of pressure on the low back here. So keeping knees soft and finding that hinge right at the hip. Couple of more breaths in your ragdoll. Maybe begin to shake your head yes and no. And then gently release, hands come down. Inhale, find your sweep all the way up to the sky. Reach, get tall. Exhale and bow forward. Inhale, find your halfway lift. Exhale, hands come down. Everybody step back to your high push-up. So once you find that high push-up, make sure all of your joints are stacked. Arms are wrapping in. Fingers fanning slightly out to the corners of your mat. And then gently allow your knees to drop. So here we have a modified plank. You can always take this instead. We're gonna take some yogi push-ups. So again, wrap the arms in. Here comes five yogi push-ups. Big breath in. Exhale, lower halfway down. Press it right back up as you breathe in. Exhale, halfway down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Two more, big breath in. And out. Last one. Halfway down, press it back up. And then this time we're gonna hug the elbows in, take a nice slow lower all the way down till the belly and the chin hits the mat. Go ahead and press your feet into the floor. So top feet press down, knees will slightly lift up off the mat. Bring your hands to your lowest rib so that your fingertips are right by that lowest rib and hug your elbows back. Big breath in, find your low cobra, lift your chin, lift your chest. Hold for another in breath and then gently lower down, chin to the mat. One more time, inhale, cobra. This time maybe float your hands up off the mat, take an extra in breath here. And exhale, lower all the way down. Gently make your way into your tabletop pose. So press onto hands and knees here. And again, stack those joints, so shoulders over wrists, hips over knees. We'll take some cow and cat stretches. Inhale, drop the belly, raise the head. Exhale to round chin to chest. Big breath in, drop the belly, raise the head. Exhale to tuck and round. One more time, inhale. And exhale. All right, go ahead and tuck your toes. Find that nice rooted feeling through the hands. And then go ahead and pick your knees up just an inch. Pull the belly in towards the spine and breathe here. So you're gonna feel this immediately, right? Through the legs, through the belly. Pull that core in. Big breath in. And out. One more breath in. And a long breath out. Go ahead and drop the knees back to the earth, tops of the feet on the floor. Three more cow and cats. Inhale, drop the belly. Exhale and round. Big breath in, press the heart through the gate of the arms. Exhale and tuck your chin, rounding, press through the hands. One more time, in breath. And out breath. All right, go ahead and tuck those toes. This time you're gonna bring yourself all the way up to downward facing dog. So maybe move the hands a bit forward if you need to. And then begin to pedal the feet. Walk it out side to side. 
And again, just recognize where you might feel a little bit tighter this morning. Notice where you need to take care of yourself a little bit. If you have any injuries or anything that's plaguing you right now, just be soft around those areas. Don't push too hard. And big breath in, lift that right leg up nice and high. Maybe rock out the ankle a bit, point and flex. If it serves you, you can bend the knee. Open up that hip, big breath in. And sigh it out. Inhale, bring that leg back through. Square your hips. That leg is about hip height. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, bring knee to nose and round. Inhale, kick it high. Exhale, knee to nose. Big breath in, kick it high. This time, bring that foot through runner's lunge. Maybe find your blocks. It's a little bit early in the practice. So maybe find your blocks, allowing that chest to come up off the thigh. And then check in with your feet. You should be about hips width distance. And then bring your gaze forward. Heart presses forward. Take a nice in breath. And as you exhale, shift your hips back. Press through, the, through that front foot as you bring that back heel down. Let's try that again. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, press it back. Try to keep your gaze forward as you inhale. And exhale back. So don't allow your head to drop here. Keep your spine long. Two more. Exhale, press it back. This last time, we're going to hold it as we press back. So make any adjustments you need to. Try to, again, square the hips. Press on the gas with that front foot. Press through that back heel on the left foot. And then if you want to come deeper, again, use the hinge of the hips to lower chest towards your thigh. Big breath in. And exhale. Long breath in. And out. Go ahead and come back into that runner's lunge. You're going to get rid of your blocks. Hands come around the foot. Sweep that right leg high, and then release, downward facing dog. Walk it out. Breath in, and breath out. So you can always count on a couple of breaths here in your resting pose of down dog. When you're ready on your next in breath, that left leg will lift nice and high, point and flex. Roll out the ankle. Maybe bend the knee, stack the hips, flex the foot, spread the toes. Try to keep shoulders square to the front as you do. And then come back through your center. Leg is lifted, maybe a little lower, about hip height and hips are nice and square. Big breath in. Exhale, bring knee to nose. Inhale, kick it high. Exhale, knee to nose. This time, inhale, kick it high. And exhale, bring it in between your hands, runner's lunge. Find your blocks and set yourself up. So take a couple of breaths here. Check in with your alignment. Check in with your feet nice and strong. Pull the belly in and breath in. Heart presses forward. Exhale, shift your hips back. Four more, inhale. And exhale. Breath in and breath out. Two more. Last one, we're going to hold for a couple of breaths. So shift your hips back and then really work on pressing that back heel, that right heel down towards the earth. Pressing on the gas with that front foot. Your thighs hug in towards one another. Feel the stretch through the back of that left leg. Maybe hinging a little deeper at that hip crease to bring chest closer to that front thigh. Big breath in. And out. One more breath. Find your runner's lunge. Bend into that left knee. Your blocks can be set aside. Hands come down. Sweep that left leg high. And it will float back down. Downward facing dog and walk it out. In breath. And out breath. Let's take a couple of vinyasa flows here. So as you inhale, come up high on the toes. 
And then exhale, find your plank pose and pause here. So again, vinyasa flows. You can take them or skip them throughout your practice. You can keep your high push up or maybe drop the knees. Your other options as you come down, we'll exhale, come down. For your in breath, you can stick with that low cobra from earlier in class or come up to up dog. If you're in up dog, thighs are off the floor. It's just tops of feet and hands. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Big breath in and long breath out. Let's try that again. Inhale, come forward. Exhale and pause. Find that high push up. Big breath in. Exhale, chaturanga. Come on down, halfway or all the way. Inhale, upward facing dog or low cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Big breath in and a long breath out. All right, sun salutation A. Bend your knees, look to your hands, and step your feet to the front. Inhale as you're halfway lift. Exhale to bow forward. Big breath in to sweep the arms high. And exhale, come on down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands to the floor, step back or hop back and flow through your vinyasa. You can also meet us in down dog. Maybe not take every vinyasa. And we'll meet you there. Big breath in. And a long breath out. All right, let's come back to our sun cell. So bending your knees, looking to your hands, taking your out breath, and then stepping or hopping to the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale and bow. Inhale, sweep it up all the way and pause. So sitting up nice and tall or standing up nice and tall, we're going to have a seat in our chair pose. So maybe feet or hips width, maybe you're squeezing a block between the thighs. That's always a good option. Okay. Or maybe big toes touch and heels slightly separated. And you're going to take a nice deep breath in, reach. Exhale and have a seat in your chair pose. You want to focus on getting your hips pressing back enough that if you look down at your feet, you can see your toes peeking out in front of your knees. We're going to add some arms here. So big breath in. As you exhale, squeeze the elbows back. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, twist to the right. Big breath in, sweep it high. Exhale and squeeze. Inhale, reach up. Exhale and twist to the left. Inhale, sweep it high. Exhale and squeeze at center. Breath in, reach up. Exhale to the right. Breath in, sweep it high. Exhale and squeeze. Breath in, sweep it up. Exhale and twist to the left. Inhale, sweep at center. Exhale, squeeze. Last set. You got this. Inhale, reach. Exhale and twist. Big breath in. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale. Exhale and twist to the left. Big breath in. Stand up nice and tall. Take a pause. We're going to come into a crescent lunge from here. So root down through that right foot. Pick up that left knee, standing knee. Just pause here. Find that drishti from the beginning of practice. Lock your eyes as you make your gentle transition crescent lunge. Take that left foot back. You can soften the back knee a bit to allow you to come into maybe a deeper lunge here. Pull the belly in. Reach up. And settle in. You're going to bring your right hand to your right hip. You're going to reach up with that left arm, take an in-breath, and then as you exhale, reach over to the right. So another beautiful side stretch here this morning through that left side body. Big breath in. Exhale and reach. Now this time, big breath in. As you exhale, bring the left arm across your body, hook that left elbow, finding your revolved lunge, maybe bringing your hands into prayer. Maybe dropping the back knee down, if that feels better. 
You also can release that left hand to the floor or a block and reach that right arm up. So there's many different variations here of this twist. A revolved crescent lunge. Focus on breathing in, creating length all the way through the crown of the head. And then as you exhale, can you find any deeper of a twist? Gently make your way back through center. Find your crescent lunge. Come all the way up. And as you exhale, step that left foot forward. Big breath in. Exhale in forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, stay here and fold. Big breath in, sweep it high. Getting ready for your second set of chair pose. When you're ready, have a seat. Bring the hips down, send them back. Check in with your big toes. Make sure your knees and everything is facing forward. Heart wide open. Add your arms, big breath in. Exhale and squeeze center. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, twist right. Big breath in, sweep it up. Exhale and squeeze. Inhale, rise up with the arms. Exhale and twist to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, right. Inhale, center. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. One more set. Inhale, center. Exhale, squeeze. Big breath in, reach it up. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, squeeze. Big breath in. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, rise all the way up and take a breath or two. Good job, everybody. Reaching, getting nice and long. We're going to find that standing knee on the other side, coming into our crescent. So root down through left foot this time, right knee lifts. Pull the belly in, find that drishti. Keep your eyes locked as you transition, send that right foot back. Find that softness in the back knee. Make sure your feet are hips width distance. When you're ready, left hand comes to left hip. Right arm reaches up, big breath in. Exhale and reach over to the left. Try to keep those shoulders and hips square to the front. You'll feel that beautiful stretch through the right side. Big breath in. As you exhale, make your way into that revolved crescent lunge, bringing right elbow to the outside of left thigh. Maybe hands in prayer. If this is too much, you can drop the back knee. Maybe open the arms. So find your version here. Big breath in, lengthen. Exhale and twist. One more breath in. And breath out. Come back to your center. Bring yourself back up, present lunge. And then right foot's gonna step forward. Big breath in. Exhale and bow. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, let's take an extra forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. This time, exhale, hands to the floor, stepping it back. You can flow through your vinyasa, or you can go right to downward facing dog. And take a few resting breaths here. In through the nose, and out through the nose if you can. That long in breath, even with the out breath. As you breathe in, lift that right leg up nice and high. As you exhale, bring knee to nose. Inhale, lift that leg high. Exhale, bring it through runner's lunge. We're coming all the way up to warrior two. So drop that back foot now and then check in. That front foot should be intersecting the back foot and then come all the way up, warrior two. You can take your hands to hips and level them out if you need to. Make sure that right knee is pressing open and not dropping inward. And then arms reach, shoulders are right over your hips. Can you find your drishti? Are your eyes locked? 
Flip that front palm, inhale in reverse. Reach. Big breath in. And out. One more big breath in. And out. Gently make your way into extended side angle. So you can bring that right arm to the inner thigh, maybe rest the forearm on the thigh, and left arm reaches up. If you want to take it deeper, you can reach that arm over your head. Maybe turn your heart to the sky. Try not to put too much weight in that right arm. You should be able to come off it very easily. Big breath in. And long breath. Go ahead and tilt your body back up, warrior two. Flip that front palm, inhale in reverse. Exhale and cartwheel, come all the way down. Sweep that right leg back. Maybe a three-limbed vinyasa here. So pause with that right leg high, and then come into your high push-up. Pause, big breath in. Chaturanga, come down on three limbs. Bring both feet to the floor, upward facing dog. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Big breath in. And sigh it out. Left leg lifts nice and high. Exhale, bring knee to your nose. Inhale, lift it high. Exhale, bring it through runner's lunge. Find your way into warrior two. Take your time. Check in with your feet first. Pull in your belly. And then circle the arms up. Warrior two. Again, I always check in, make sure my hips are level. I have a tendency to do this. So a lot of us have things that we do all the time that we don't notice. So just check in with your alignment there. Bring that knee so it's pushing out. And then flip your front palm and reverse. Big breath in. Reach a little deeper as you exhale. We'll take another breath here, inhale. And exhale. Gently make your way into that extended side angle. Reaching right arm up, left arm to inner thigh or gently resting on the leg. Maybe reaching that right arm over your head to bring it deeper. Gently make your way back to that warrior two. Flip the front palm, inhale in reverse. Exhale and cartwheel, come all the way down. Sweep that left leg high now and pause. Three limbed vinyasa, flowing into your high push up. Big breath in. Exhale, come on down on three limbs. Two feet to the floor, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Big breath in and sigh it out. I'm gonna do a little abs and then we're gonna take a rest in child's pose. Right leg lifts up nice and high. Exhale, bring it across your body to your left elbow. Inhale, lift it high. Exhale to your nose. Inhale, lift it high. Exhale to right elbow. One more set, inhale. Left elbow. Inhale, nose. Inhale, lift. Exhale, right elbow. Inhale, lift. And exhale, down dog. Walk it out. Big breath in. And exhale. Drawing breath in through the nose. Out through the nose or the mouth. And we'll take that on the other side. So left leg's going to lift nice and high. And as you exhale, opposite elbow, right elbow. Inhale, lift. Exhale, nose. Inhale, lift. Exhale, left elbow. One more set. Breath in. And out across the body. Inhale. Exhale, nose. Last one, lift. Exhale, left elbow. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, float the leg down. Walk it out. Find your child's pose. Perhaps find some water. Take a few breaths of rest here in your child's pose.
When you're ready, you're going to all meet in tabletop, so come up onto hands and knees here. And we're going to sweep that right arm nice and high. Follow your gaze up to the sky. And then take a nice deep breath in, twist it as much as you can open, and then as you exhale, thread it through. Inhale, reach it high. Exhale, thread it through. One more time, inhale. Exhale, thread it through. We're gonna land here. So go ahead and bring a little bit of weight onto that right shoulder, head can come down. And you can stay here, or you can take that left leg back Start by leaving the toe on the ground and then pull the belly in super tight and then maybe float it up hip height. Maybe take that left arm and bind it behind your back. So bringing a little bit of balance here and core work. It's totally fine to leave both arm and leg down. So take whatever feels best to you. and then gently come out of the bind and the balance. Sweep that right arm back up nice and high. Let's rock out the wrists a little bit. We've been working those pretty hard today. And then go ahead and float that right arm down. We're gonna take that on the other side. Left arm sweeps up. Take one more big breath in to twist open. Exhale and thread it through. Inhale, sweep it up. Exhale and thread it through. Again, breath in and exhale. Landing here. Again, you can stay here or you can kick that right leg back. If you never do the balance, maybe at least try to kick the right leg back, leave the toe on the ground. Pull the belly in and if you start feeling a little bit more brave, you can lift that leg up. Maybe you just wanna take the bind, wrapping that right arm behind you. Maybe none of it, which is perfectly okay few breaths here. You guys look great. And if you're in the bind or the balance, make your way gently out of that first. And then sweeping that left arm nice and high. And then we'll float it back down tabletop. Let's take a few cow and cat poses before we come back to our down dog. Inhale, drop the belly. You're drawing the hands back towards you. And then exhale, round. Inhale, drop the belly, draw the heart forward, hands back. Exhale and round. One more time, inhale. And exhale. All right, when you're ready, we'll meet in down dog. Go ahead and tuck your toes. Lift up those hips and send them back. We're gonna get ready to flow through Sun Sal B. So when you're ready, you're gonna bend those knees, look to your hands, take your out breath and step or hop. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale and forward fold. Big breath in, sweep it up high. Exhale and bow forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands down, step it back, high push up. Flow through vinyasa or just meet us in down dog. Inhale, lift that right leg high. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, lift that leg high. Come up nice and high on the toes on that left foot. Bring your knee all the way into your chest and then step it through. See if you can get it a little bit further past those hands. And we're gonna stay here in crescent lunge. So leave that back heel lifted, pull your belly in and rise all the way up. Again, take a few breaths here to settle in and work your way from the floor up, right? So work with the foundation of the pose. Maybe you notice your feet are too close together. Bring a little bit more distance. Carry the energy all the way up through the body. Check in with the alignment. Check in with your breath and then express your pose. Maybe bring a little back bend into it. We're gonna come into eagle from here, but we're gonna start with just the arms, okay? 
So you're going to bring your arms out to a T. It's left arm under, right arm over. You can hug yourself or begin to wrap them. And then just pause here. And you're going to work on bringing those elbows up to shoulder height if you can. And then find that softness in the back knee. Just start to bounce. And then when you're ready, you press off. Bringing that left leg high up and over. Eagle pose. See if you can lower your seat as you exhale. So think about the same breath from your chair pose. Inhale, sit up nice and tall. Exhale, lower your seat. Big breath in. And long breath out. Gently unravel to airplane. So everything's going to open. And then you're going to send that leg back. Arms reach back. So you go from this very bound, tight positioning to wide open. And then we're landing back in our crescent lunge. Sweep the arms up. Big breath in. Open it up as you exhale all the way to warrior two. So in our warrior two, we're going to Inhale, sweep up, look up, and straighten that front leg. You're going to bring your arms out to a T and bring that right hand behind your head. We're coming into triangle pose from here. So again, warrior two feet, just check in that that front foot intersects the back foot. And then you're just going to lean forward with that elbow. And once you're there, tilt your body. It's almost like you're shooting an arrow, right? So you don't have that assistance of the lower hand here in your triangle as you normally do. If you'd like that, you can bring it to the lower leg or a block. Make sure that belly is pulled in. You're not locking the knee on that front leg. Big breath in. And out. And if you'd like to challenge yourself today, you can come into balancing half moon. Bring that left hand to your hip. Release that right hand down. Also, move your gaze first. So one step at a time, maybe grab your block, bring it to the outside of that front foot and make that transition balancing half moon. Now that flying leg doesn't have to go any higher than the hip. Leave your gaze down or shift your gaze up. Changes the balance quite a bit. Maybe that left hand can come up off the hip. Big breath in. And out. Gently making your way back to warrior two. Take your time. Sweeping through center. Five-pointed star now. We're going to take a forward fold. Arms come to your lower back. Okay, like you're putting your hands in your pockets. Make sure your toes are nice and forward. Maybe even a little bit pigeon-toed in. Take a nice deep breath in. Lift your gaze. Exhale, keep those knees soft and forward fold. Now again, focus on hinging at the hips. And then once you can, bring your hands down to floor blocks. And then you can begin to round and really let your head go. Allow your head to hang nice and heavy in your forward fold. And do anything that feels good here. You can kind of freestyle. So if you like to do side lunges. If you like to go upside down in an inversion, you can do that. Maybe tripod headstand here. And then to come out of it, we're going to find some stillness in center. Bring your hands under your heart. Keep your knees nice and soft here. And then maybe bring hands to hips as you pull the belly in and rise all the way up. Find your warrior two facing the front. And we'll take it to the mat. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, hands come down. Right leg sweeps, maybe three-limbed vinyasa, maybe four-limbed vinyasa. It's all up to you. Maybe you go right to down dog. We'll all meet there together. Taking two breaths. In breath. And out. One more breath. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, sweep that left leg high. Exhale, knee to your nose. Inhale, lift. Exhale, runner's lunge. 
Shacking in now with those feet. Keep them nice and wide, hips width. Pull the belly in and rise up, crescent lunge. Couple of breaths, soften here. Get ready for our eagle arms. So arms out to a T, this time it's right under left. So hug yourself or wrap the arms. Lift those elbows up to shoulder height and invite a, a little bend and a bounce in that back knee. And when you're ready, we're gonna press off. Eagle. Maybe wrapping the foot again, you can always kick stand to the toe. And then use your breath to sink the hips with every breath out. Breathing in. And breathing out. Inhale. And exhale. All right, we're going to come into our airplane. So gently unravel everything, slowly and with control. Open up that whole body. Flex that flying foot. Toes point down. And gently landing in crescent lunge. One big breath in. Exhale to open to warrior two. So as you breathe in, we're going to straighten that front leg, sweep up, look up. And then we're going to bring the arms out to a T, but that left arm goes behind your head. We're going to come into that unassisted triangle pose. So when you're ready, you're going to reach that elbow forward, tilt your body. Right arm comes up. Again, if you like to bring that left hand down, please do so, okay? Otherwise, pull that belly in, turn your heart towards the sky. Big breath in and long breath out. Try not to lock the knee on that left leg. It's tough not to. And then maybe balancing half moon. So you're going to bring your gaze down. You're going to bring your right hand to your hip and release that left hand down. Maybe find your block and come right into your balancing half moon. I always leave my hand on my hip to start until I get my balance. You can even bend that flying leg, bend that knee. That takes some of the balance out of it as well. And then once you feel nice and sturdy and strong, maybe that right arm flies high, maybe the gaze can come up, but it doesn't need to, right? So if it starts to feel uneasy, you can bring that gaze right back down. Gently land in your warrior two, take your time. And then for another wide-legged forward fold. So this time we're gonna take a bind. So bring your hands behind you and interlace them behind your back, okay? Now open up the heart nice and wide. And then as you exhale, soften the knee and come all the way down. And if you can bring those arms away from the back body, do that. And then again, just kind of melt into it, allowing your head to hang heavy, shake it out. And soften the knees, pull the belly in, begin to straighten all the way back up. You can release your bind, you're going to come back two position flip that front palm inhale in reverse and exhale cartwheel all the way down sweeping left leg high maybe three limbed four limbed or no vinyasa again make it your own practice maybe you do double triple quadruple chaturangas whatever you're feeling walk it out big breath in and exhale now we're going to elephant walk our feet so that just basically means we're going to try to keep our arms and our legs straight as we take those elephant steps towards our hands, right? So now we're pretty open, so these forward folds can go a little deeper. I still don't want you to lock your knees. Let's take our peace fingers around our big toes here. Again, feet can be wider than hips width for comfort. Soften the knees and then just use that grip of the big toes to pull yourself down even further. Your elbows will jet out to the sides. Hang your head.
keep breathing. We're going to take one more balancing series before we hit the mat for some stretches. So when you're ready, release that grip on the toes and just come all the way up. Maybe keep the feet wide as we just rock everything out side to side. Should feel easy. So keep the knees bent. And then as you're ready, you're going to settle back into that mountain pose where we started. So again, big toes can touch, heels slightly separated, or you can have your feet up to hips width distance apart. So we're going to begin by inhaling and sweeping the arms up. We're going to come back to that standing knee. So go ahead and root down through that left foot and pick that right knee up. Try to get it up as high as you can. We're going to assist it by bringing our hands underneath that knee and hugging it in. So stand wind, standing wind removing. And again, where's that drishti? Find it. You'd be surprised how much easier it is to balance when you lock your eyes. Pull the belly in. Release the left hand out to the left and the right knee out to the right. Maybe your gaze can shift over that left hand. Bring your gaze back to center. Not your knee quite yet, okay? We're gonna bring it in for tree pose. So you can bring it in to the upper thigh. You can bring it below the knee, not on the knee. The other option, which is a little bit deeper of a hip opener is a figure four. So you can take that leg and bring it across your thigh here. Try to keep it flexed. Hands can come to heart center as you begin to sink your hips down. So this is another variation. You can stick with tree or come a little bit deeper into figure four. And if you're here, you can begin to lean forward and even hook the elbows. You create a bind between that right foot and your upper left arm. And then maybe your hands can come to the floor. This is actually the beginning of an arm balance. So if you are uh, able to come into that arm balance, that's another option. You're gonna feel this in the outer hip, breathing in and breathing out. All right, gently make your way back up and landing on two feet. Beautiful job. Bring the feet a little bit wider than hips width and shake it up side to side. <sighs> Settling into your center, we'll take that again. So two feet, rooted down, arms sweep up. Starting with standing knee, left knee comes up. Wind removing, pull that knee into your chest. When you're ready, open it out to the left, right hand out to the right. Maybe gaze follows that right hand. And then bringing it in for either tree or figure four. So again, tree, the foot comes to the inside. Figure four, you're gonna cross that ankle on top of that right thigh, hands to heart center as you sink your hips down keeping your heart and chest lifted. And then to take it deeper, maybe hinging further at the hip, elbows come to the outside of that left leg as you hook that left foot around that right upper arm. Hands can come to floor blocks as you sink your hips. Big breath in and out. One more breath. As you're ready, you gently make your way back to standing on two feet. Great job. You can shake that out. We're going to come down onto the mat now for some stretching. So we'll meet at the front of the mat to get our way there. Sweeping arms up as you breathe in and bowing forward as you breathe out. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands to the floor, stepping back, high push-up. Take a nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, come all the way down onto the belly. You can bring your right ear down first. And rest here, arms down by your sides. Palms face up.
And then gently flipping your head over, stretch your neck in the opposite direction. Go ahead and bring your chin to the mat. Your arms are still down by your sides, but your palms are face down. And I'm going to have you press your feet into the mat so that, again, your knees lift up, just like we did at the beginning with low cobra. And then with your next breath in, you're going to lift only your upper body up. So chin, chest, arms float up. Take a deep breath in here, lift a little higher. And then maybe allow the feet to float up as well. Try to keep them hips width. Don't allow them to go out too wide. Big breath in, lift higher. Exhale, sustain that new lift. One more breath in. And then gently come all the way down, right ear to the floor. Couple of resting breaths. We will take one more belly back bend. You can stick with locust, which is what we just did, or you can opt to go a little bit deeper into floor bow. So setting yourself up for either option. If you're coming into floor bow, you're gonna bend your knees. You're gonna reach back for feet or ankles. If you can grab a hold of ankles, then do that. It makes it a little bit easier to lift up and begin to flex your feet. Keep your gaze forward. And then as you breathe in, kick and lift. So the harder you kick and the more you flex your feet, the easier it is to lift. Breathing in and out. In breath lifts you a little higher. Exhale. One more in breath lift. And gently come all the way down. You can rest your left here now down on the mat. Maybe windshield wipe your legs side to side. Take your time as you're ready. You're going to roll over onto your backs now. And we'll come into a self hug. So just bring those knees in. Wrap your arms around your legs. Give yourself a little rock side to side here. And we'll find a twist. So release that left leg down, hug the right knee in. So we did wind removing standing. We're doing it now laying down. And then bring your right arm out to the right. Bring your right knee across your body. Gaze goes to that right hand as you find a supine twist. Again, your breath here is a big key. So big breath in, fill the entire upper body with air. As you exhale, let go of all that air, maybe deepen the twist, both shoulders, try to get them onto the mat. One more breath in and out. Let's switch sides, come back through center and left knee, hug it in. Both feet are flexed here, as if you're standing on both feet. Big breath in. Turning it into your twist, left arm out to the left, left knee across the body. Fill the upper body with air as you pull air in through the nose. And exhale through the nose or the mouth. Making your way back through center, landing in your stick pose. Let's reset the spine here by creating some length. So toes point and you reach overhead with your fingers as you breathe in, create length. And as you exhale, just melt into the floor. Again, big breath in, stretch and reach. And exhale, release. 
You can take an inversion if it serves you. You can bring your feet to the floor, lock. Bring it underneath your hips and lift your feet to the sky. And maybe add the arms here, float those arms up too. If you like shoulder stand, you can certainly take shoulder stand or any other inversion. If you have something in your practice you enjoy better. Maybe allow your eyes to close here in waterfall. And the longer you stay in your inversion, you'll begin to feel that tingly sensation The feet and the legs begin to feel a bit lighter. And once you're ready, you're going to gently make your way down to come into Shavasana. So you can set that block aside. And choose any option, maybe legs down the mat, feet flopped out, maybe hands by your sides, palms face up, or one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly. We have the benefit of being outside, listening to the birds, feeling a beautiful breeze. Bring it all in. Allow your breath to become easy here. Going back to that more involuntary breathing. We'll bring in some gentle movements now, waking up the body gently, maybe rocking the head, bringing small movements to the feet and the hands. And when you're ready, knees pull into your chest, self-hug, gentle rock side to side. Eventually you'll rock onto one side and we'll meet seated with hands in prayer. And sitting up nice and tall. Again, lifting the shoulders up and then down the back, opening up the heart. And just taking this moment to revisit your intention that you set at the beginning of practice, knowing it's always there for you on and off your mat. Carry it with you. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to one another. Namaste. Thanks, everybody, for joining. Have a great day.